first regular commercial delivery of goods by Parachute Express is a milestone in modern aviation. Packages containing the cargo are prepared for the cross-country flight. Parachutes attached to each container are one of the latest types developed by the United States Army. The new air service is operated by former pilots of the famous Flying Tigers, American airmen who fought the Japanese in Burma and China even before the United States entered the war. The first trip's cargo was a consignment of silverware. A ground marker identifies the drop site and the cargo is dumped out of the plane. It floats gently and safely to the ground 200 feet below. Wartime experience put to peacetime use brings a new idea to commercial aviation. In Manila and throughout the Philippine Islands, a national presidential election campaign is marked by high popular interest and wide electioneering. Candidates for the highest office are President Sergio Osmeña and his challenger Manuel Rojas. Osmeña automatically succeeded to the presidency held by Manuel Quezon after Quezon's death in the United States during the war. Under Quezon, Osmeña and Rojas once worked closely together, but now Filipino voters go to the polls to choose between them. The winner will lead the Philippines to complete independence in July of this year. Rojas won a clear majority. An orderly democratic election makes Manuel Rojas the new president of the Philippines. In the northwest state of Washington, the Queen of the Apple Blossom Festival arrives for her coronation. Thousands of the state citizens watch the colorful event. The governor places the crown on the schoolgirl queen. The parade marks the spring event in the great apple-producing section of the United States. In the orchards, the Blossom Queen supervises the exploding of bombs, which spread pollen to increase the yield. Planes are also used in this artificial but effective means of pollination of the apple blossom. At the bottom of Tokyo Harbor, the United States Army dives for hidden treasure. Anonymous information came to an American officer that last July the Japanese had dumped a large quantity of precious metals here. And under four feet of bottom mud, the Army finds the loot. The first find was a 75-pound bar of platinum. But after that, the hoard produced only a few ingots of silver. guards watch while the search continues at low tide. This sunken treasure was intended by Japanese factions for future operations after the Allied occupation. The last silver bar is brought up. The treasure will be held as partial payment of Japanese reparations. In New York City, ex-soldiers Billy Kahn and Joe Lewis get a physical examination for their coming heavyweight championship fight late in June. The athletic commissioner presides as the champion and challenger put their signatures to the contracts. Five years ago, challenger Kahn tried to take the championship from Lewis but lost out in the 13th round. At this ceremony, they're quite friendly, but when the bell rings for the first big bout since the war, they'll come out fighting. <laughs> On 
On New York City's Lower East Side, the greatest slum clearance project on record goes forward. This poor tenement area is to be used for modern apartment buildings and parks. Hundreds of old tenements are demolished by an ingenious iron ball weighing 3,000 pounds. pounded into wreckage. The marksmanship is perfect, finding just the right spot. As they have since 1875, vast crowds surge into Churchill Downs, Kentucky for America's greatest horse race. On hand for 1946's classic race are more than 100,000 people packing every inch of space at the historic track. Just before the start of the race, there's just no space to crowd in another human being. The track, drying out after a week of rain, is officially rated as slow. The big field of 17 entries parades to the post. Ahead of them is a grueling mile and a quarter race and a big prize for the winner of the Kentucky Derby. They're off with the favorite Lord Boswell trying to get to the front. the final turn, Spy Song leads, but Assault is challenging the leaders. Assault at 8 to 1 cuts through on the rail and moves ahead. The slow motion camera records the thrilling end of the race. And Assault crosses the finish line to win easily by eight lengths. 